Director Richie Mehta's film, India in a Day, premiered here at the 2016 Toronto International Film Festival. Now, while the film has been directed by Mehta, it's produced by famed Bollywood director Anurag Kashyap and legendary Hollywood director Ridley Scott, and has been shot by everyone in India. Take a look. Eight years of our independence. This is the only place in India which is owned and run by transgenders. In life, you always make choices, and the choices that you don't make are like ghost ships. The dreams I had of going from one tip of India to the other, all the things I wanted to be. India in a Day is a cinematic mosaic, if you will, which showcases the evolving nature of India, its people, its culture, and its technology. Powered by Google, directed by Richie Mehta, and executive produced by Ridley Scott and Anurag Kashyap, the film is a look at India within a 24-hour time span. The film is stitched together from crowd-sourced material entirely, from everyday citizens who chronicle their experiences and perspectives all while living in India. I had a chance to sit down and chat with Richie Mehta, the director of the film, during his trip to TIFF 2016. Now this really is a look into the Indian citizen living in India, yeah. different aspects of India, because you know, everybody knows there's, there's a lot of poverty, there's a lot of wealth, there's Bollywood, there's people driving the rickshaws, there's so much cultural diversity, yeah. so rich in food, rich in religion. What was the challenge in putting all these stories together? You're taking stories that have been curated from people who have submitted their stories That's for right. you to kind of shape up into this beautiful piece. Talk to me about the yeah. challenges and the liberties there. Basically, we curated what was given to us um, and of this, we were given 16,000 clips. And so we get to choose obviously what's in it, but there were ideas of course of being Indian, the nuances of being Indian, the humor, the, then there were stories of just people's personal lives and perspectives on things which, you know, it, it revolved around the value of life, value of death, I mean, really kind of big things. He was asking me, is it going to rain? They don't know what's going on in the world. I'm the most educated guy in this village. I'm the only guy who can speak in English. So I have access to internet. They don't know the uses of internet. They can't imagine that internet can be used for education purposes. When I was watching it, it's, it's like a quilt almost. You know, there's different patches, yeah. yet they all come together to weave one story. Yeah. There's emotions, yeah. there's celebration, there's moms, there's dads, there's food, there's a lot of everything. Yeah. Uh, being part of these stories, seeing them, how are you shaped as a filmmaker? That's a very, very multifaceted question. Yes. Uh, on the one hand, I think, you know, as an independent filmmaker, we're always trying to address issues, whether it's social issues or uh, personal issues in your films. and. By watching this, it struck me that at this day and age now, people who have access to phones and cameras and they're engaging with social media in a very sophisticated way, I said to myself, if these people are engaging in the same issues I'm trying to engage in and they're doing it more eloquently and more genuinely just talking to their phone, then if I'm going to do it, I have to, and filmmakers generally, we have to, we have to up our game. We've got to do it in a way that they can't do it because they're doing it in ways that we haven't done it. Mm -hmm. So that has to change, that has to evolve, yeah. and I know that's going to change going forward for me. Um, and then the other side of it is uh, I instinctively reacted to the footage. I think our mm -hmm. whole team did. So there's something that really spoke to us and spoke to me, and that's how we constructed it. But now, because I didn't shoot it, I can stand back, I can engage with the film as a viewer, and I'm going to now engage with it going forward. Communication, education, technology, transportation, population, politician. We are going to make this nation. We are going to develop this nation. I am a citizen of a very great and wise country, and I am proud of it. Thanks for watching this episode of Date with Daniel. Like my video and subscribe to my channel for more quick, quirky, fun, and insightful chats.